South Lake Tahoe, together with Dynamic 8, KOLO-TV, Reno. This is KOLO-TV, Reno. And now, News Channel 8 brings you Daytime. This is KOLO-TV, Reno. And now, from the team you know and trust, Tad Dunbar, Aaron Breen, meteorologist Tony Shelton, and Rob Nicoleski with sports. This is News Channel 8 at 5.30. Now, from the team you know and trust, this is KOLO News Channel 8 at 5. Now, from the team you know and trust, this is KOLO News Channel 8 at 6.30. The waiting is finally over for PAC fans. The PAC was trying to reach the Elite Eight. We'll have highlights and reaction. Your news starts now. Now, from the team you know and trust, this is KOLO News Channel 8 tonight. Lawrence Colwell was executed tonight in Carson City. Fans packed local bars hoping to watch the Wolf Pack win. And they were on the edge of their seats as the PAC game went down to the wire with Georgia Tech. Good evening, everyone. I'm Terry Henry. Okay, you have to... In Medical Minutes, Terry Russell will show us one of the most popular and fastest growing classes at the Sparks YMCA. But first, Dick will be back with a look at the weekend. You're watching the team you know and trust. Brent Boynton, Terry Hendry, Weather with Dick Stoddard, and Brian Samudio on sports. This is KOLO News Channel 8 tonight. You're watching KOLO 8 News Now, Daybreak. Good morning to you on this Wednesday, December 12th. The time now. We'll be right back. You're watching Colo 8 News Now with Ann Cutler and weather with meteorologist Dennis Flock. This is Colo 8 News Now Daybreak. You're watching Colo 8 News Now Midday. Now on Colo 8 News Midday, well, it's free. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Watching Colo 8 News Now with Ann Cutler and weather with meteorologist Dennis Flock. This is Colo 8 News Now Midday. You're watching Colo 8 News Now at 5.30. New at 5.30 at Healthcare. You're watching Colo 8 News Now at 6.30. Plus a you're watching Colo 8 News Now at 6.30. Now on Colo 8, big, huge letters scrawled on the brand new plaza here at UNR. It's alert forecast coming up next. You're watching Colo 8 News Now at 6.30. With Brent Boynton and Mido. Weather with meteorologist Chris Larson. And sports with Eric Sperling. This is Colo 8 News Now at 6.30. You're watching Colo 8 News now at 6.30. Joining us tonight, I'm Pat Hambright. Sarah Johns has the night off. We want to begin with an update on our severe... This is Colo 8 News now at 6.30 with Sarah Johns and Pat Hambright. Meteorologist Chris Larson with your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And Josh Little with the latest sports highlights. This is Colo 8 News now at 6.30. Watching Colo 8 News Now at 11. Tonight on Colo 8 News Now, firefighters race. You're watching Colo 8 News Now at 4.30. Today on Colo 8 News Now, the Republican caucuses are here and the candidates are making their last minute pitches to gain your support. And if you're planning on heading to the caucuses, we'll tell you what you need to know before you head out. Plus, keeping this facility open is contrary to our values. Seven years after the president vowed to close the Guantanamo Bay facility, he announces details on the strategy to do so. 
Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sarah Johns. Caucuses across the state of Nevada. This is Colorway News Now at 11. Tonight on Colorway News Now, the Big Apple buried under two feet of snow. The blizzard hitting the East Coast, prompting travel restrictions that may last into the beginning of this week. Good evening. I'm Kendra Kostelecki. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We're going to have more on that story in just this is Colo 8 News Now at 6.30, covering the news that matters to you. Now in day 20, the partial government shutdown seeing no end in sight. A look at the impact it's having here locally. Plus, have you seen this man right here, where he was reported last, and how you can help Lyon County deputies? Colo 8 News Now, Good Morning Reno, covering the news that matters to you. Today on Good Morning Reno, explosion investigation. The new details about what led to the university blast. And we're off to a nice start this morning, but the big question, how hot is it going to get today? Bring the news that matters to you. Today on Colowink News Now Midday, awaiting answers. We are live at the university where more details could soon be released about Friday's explosion at Argenta Hall. Plus, remembering Ross Perot, a look back at the Texas billionaire and former presidential candidate's life after losing his battle with leukemia. Thank you so much for joining us here on Cold Wait News Now Midday. I'm Rebecca Kitchen, and we are following that developing story. Standing news that matters to you. Tonight on Cola Wait News Now, three men behind bars accused of stealing a truck in Spanish Springs. The one thing left inside that truck that helped investigators track it down. Plus, Burning Man preparations are officially underway. We're hearing from business owners about the potential impacts of the annual event. And I think he'd be out there running around with the kids on the playground and just um, that's just who he was. Honoring a former local officer in a unique way, the touching words from his peers. First at five, one of the biggest events of the year is bringing thousands through Reno. Yeah, burning. This is Colo 8 News Now at 6.30, covering the news that matters to you. A critical shortage of bus drivers. Tonight on Colo 8 News Now, why the Washoe County School District says this is a serious situation and what it's doing to try to fix the problem. Al sightings, the reason you may see more right now and the steps you can take if you have concerns. Our top story, the Reno City Council is taking aim at puppy stores. Yeah, today, the group voted to block and... This is Colo 8 News Now at 10 on the Reno CW, covering the news that matters to you. We didn't believe it at first, to be honest, because you don't hear about whooping cough cases that much in this area. Straight ahead at 10 o'clock, parents and health officials reacting after four confirmed cases of whooping cough closes a local high school temporarily. Plus, you've heard of haunted houses and mazes, but what about a spooky car wash? There's one happening next week supporting some Reno high school athletes. But first, tonight at 10, improving safety in schools in our state capital. Thank you for joining us on The CW. I'm Tabney Dozier. The Carson City School This is Colo 8 News Now at 11, covering the news that matters to you. They actually will see hazards that either we're unaware of or that they, they want to identify that has changed as the community grows. Straight ahead at 11, preparing for disaster. The plan from Washoe County first responders and why your help is needed. And lemon drive closure, where and when it's happening and what crews will be doing. Reducing loss of life and property when disease. You're watching KOLO News Channel 8, the team you know and trust.